Does anybody have any free um, game? I do. I'm going to gemstones exiling a mana reflection. All right. And then I will start us off with a card draw. I'll play a stomping grounds and I'll shock it in and take two to cast a birds of paradise. I'll ship the turn there. Draw. Play a forest for turn. Exile an elvish spirit guide for hand. Sell so volume. And I'll. Burning catacombs. We'll batch funding in the ground sea. Tap that mana vault. Pass turn. Draw for turn. I will play this Urza Saga as my land for turn, getting its first counter and say go. Draw. I'll play a Marsh Flats, and then I'll tap them to land, uh, a land and a bird to play a Talisman of Indulgence. And I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. And let's start out with a parlay. So everybody's going to reveal the top card of your library. For each non-land, I get a life in a green mana, and then we draw those cards. Mm -hmm. I get the mana vault. The coolest mountain that has ever been printed. Ooh. Look at that. I wow. Know. All right, so three. I'm going to go to two in pool and cast a mana vault. I will pay a white and three for a smothering tithe. Remember, every time we parlay, that's a draw. You got a way to stop the tide. That might be a very early problem. Yeah, I'm going to force a will pitching a temporal fast pass. Makes sense. All right. Slither tide is countered. Um, I'm going to go to one in pool and cast an instill energy. It gives haste and allows me to untap once per turn. Ooh, that's good. Yep. Untap parlet. A city Nature's brass. chosen. That is an Eldritch Evolution. I'm right. this three non-lands. Three lights. Uh, nature's Chosen. Um, it is essentially the same thing as Instill Energy. It's got a little bit of difference, but for my purposes, it's the same. Untap. Parlay. They all go on. Again. Boots that's with the fur. Song that is a bird. Half. All right. That's four. Seven in pool. Let's go to four in school. Cast an Umbral Mantle. That might just be GG. It is very unlikely to be GG, I'll be very honest. I'm going to equip the Emerald Mantle. It is a zero foot cost. Um, I will go to one in pool to untap Selvala mm -hmm. to parlay. Guy's Cradle. Mirror Entity. Hey, name sticker goblin. Archon Signet. All right, four, or three, I'm sorry, Guy's Cradle. Uh, go to one in pool, let's parlay again. Untap parlay. What if it hills? Rockhall? A Shia. Noxious Reviver. Reviver. Right. So three. I'm going to pay two. Cast Lightning Greaves. Put the boots with the fur on Silvala. The whole club's looking at her. <laughs> um, go, <laughs> go to one in cool, cool. Cast a Boreal Druid. Against my better judgment, I think we sit back for the That's, rest. That was a pretty yeah, good turn. Kind of... Pretty scary, actually. Uh, I'm going to get probe file. I'm going to look at your hand and just text me the card list to me in the DM. Let's do a morphic pool. Use one. Soul ring. Soul ring into an arcane signet. I'm going to then tap mana vault. Could have been done differently, but I had to get the colors for the crack the vault, which is a grim tutor. And pass turn. Draw for turn. Oh, that's cool. Play a Spire Garden as land for turn. I will then tap two to cast Dockside Extortionist. One, five, and three is nine. So I use three of these treasures to cast a Bergy, God of Storytelling. Burgalicious, Burgalicious. I'll crack a treasure, cast Rite of Flame, trigger Bergy. Let's then use this three to cast a name sticker goblin, triggering Bergy again. I'll get this Bergy mana, and then my highest is five, so I have a gelatinous goblin. So I'll add another five red to my mana pool. I will use this six red and a treasure to cast a tolly, triggering Bergy again. ETB, uh, exile until you hit a non-land. It's a polymorph for me. Land. Walking bliss. Diabolic intent. And a Hellkite Courser. 
Ooh. All right. I will cast all of these spells, but I will cast the Walking Ballista. I will cast the Hellkite Courser. I will cast the Polymorph, t targeting my Name Sticker Goblin. And then I will cast the Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Itali as an additional cost, putting it back to the command zone and triggering Bergy four times. All right, so the Bergy triggers are good to resolve them. Then Diabolic Intent on the stack. I will go and tutor for a card. Yeah, I will find this card to hand. All right, uh, now we have Polymorph on the stack targeting the Name Sticker Goblin. Uh, goblin is destroyed. The sticker stays on it because it's still in a public zone. I reveal from the top until I hit something, a uh, creature. It's a finale devastation, gemstone caverns, talisman of impulse. That's a dose in the falling leaf. Players Bro. can only cast spells during their own turns. That's, if you've got it then, that's game. Yeah, I was thinking of worldly, of tutoring for a worldly tutor. And All right, uh, next is going to be Hellkite Courser. We do have to go through everything. Uh, that'll come in. On ETB, it pulls Itali out of the command zone. Yep. yep. And, and so I will get another round of Itali triggers. And cast him once. So we'll flip. Love this pedal for me. It's a grim monolith for me. Alter of dementia. Enlightened tutor. I mean, Punk, do you have any counters? Uh, if if not, like I'm good to just. Yeah. yeah I, 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 I have nothing I can, that can I, I, stop. I, nothing, I do not have the same. Yeah, and I will show you. I have the Eldritch Evolution at hand to uh, ditch the Bergy and go grab Teamer Sabertooth. So then, then you just do the Teamer Sabertooth Dockside, and then. Yes, yeah, so ah. my overall win condition will probably in be involve uh, looping Eternal Witness and Lightning Bolt. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. That's going to be the overall thing. But we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. This episode was brought to you by our friends at Dragon Shield. We will be giving away some of our Dragon Shield sleeves. Be sure to use our Dragon Shield affiliate link in the comments below when you make purchases from Dragon Shield. Every little bit of support helps our channel keep growing.